life through God's great service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green brought you business here at the Headquarters Temple, <clears throat> located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, Monday. Nine patients resting reading Sunday with literature. The mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, PO Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you via chunk. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located in Park, Airborne, New York City, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General is here. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Sister, Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin King Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, and Mr. Thomas, New York, Sister, Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Upper Street on the corner, Capitol, Stelton, Elton Street. Elderly Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor Minister, and Marco Alaga Sister. Lawson, Virginia, Route 17, near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William, in charge of the uh, uh, Minister Ernst Page Assistant. Elder Green, North Carolina, 10362 on Lumberton Road. Near the Atlanta Crossroad, Elder Samuel Wilder, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Henry Street. Bishop Green, Pastor, Minister Titus Dixon. Sister. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor Bishop Randy Mack, Sister. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two, Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Willie Beach, Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford, Pastor, North Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wills, Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Albert and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston, Pastor. Camden, Florida, 2385, Hunter Drive. Bishop Green, Pastor, Anthony Charles, and Chuck. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddystone Avenue, Route 23. Located near Jane and Fletcher. Bishop Carl Miller, Pastor. Now, at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you. From the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear is Sister Pastor, Bishop Melvin Sam. He is a healer. He is a healer.
is on our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Dalton Green. Is 
My God, you tell me how all these different countries, so many countries, this gospel has gone throughout the whole world now. I'm telling you, you can look for the Lord to come anytime. The word of God done fulfilling our life. Say this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. To where? All. All the world. And mama, this is an all nation gospel. Amen. My God, you better believe it. The end is at hand now. Yes. You that are yet lingering, I'm telling you, ain't no time to linger now. It's time to get busy. Get me Psalms. Let me read Psalms 50 verse and verse 15, I believe. Listen to what the word of God said. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Psalm 51. 50. 50. Yeah. And call upon me. That's it. God wants us to call upon him. Yeah. In the day of trouble. My God went south. You know I'm glad to hear the saints coming back with the victory. How they call on the Lord. The choir sing a song. I call. I call. I got an answer. Yeah. Call upon me. In the day of trouble. My God, I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him. I'm looking at Bishop Green walking around. I met him when he were real down, but oh, the saints of God get together and call on the Lord. God raise him up. God is a healer. There is a scripture that Peter said in 1 Peter chapter 2, I believe, and verse 17. You know, don't let people weaken your faith, say yes, People don't get weak. They yes. want everybody to get weak. Yes. You know, they want everybody to bow down. Yes. This is what the word of God say now. Honor all men. Honor how many men? All men. Not just physician, but all men. All men. All men. I don't know where you get that from. You're selfish. You're just justifying yourself. I'm an all man. Love the brotherhood. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Fear God. Honor the king. Listen now. We honor the king, but we're not the, the Hebrew boy honor, but they wouldn't bow down. That's it. My God, my old king, oh, oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, he made a statue. My God, about six scores, cubits, cubits. My God, about three cubit feet high. That's all I believe is in Daniel, the third chapter, and verse one. He make an image, my God, and then he make a proclamation. Now, anybody fail to bow down, I will be told in the burning part of the furnace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. The king made an image of gold. An image of gold. The height was three scores cubits. Read on. And the breadth of six cubits. Six cubits. He set it up. Read. In the plain of Dora. Read on. In the province of Babylon. Read on. They never chose the king said to gather together. Yes. The king, the princes, princess, the governor, the governor, and the captain judges. You see everybody bowing down, but God gonna help a people who won't bow down. Read on. And treasure and the counselor. Yes. The sheriff and all the rules of the province. Read on. To come to the dedication of the image. Nebuchadnezzar king had set up. My God, man, setting up everything, but God want us to, God don't want his people to bow down. Read on. Then the king, then the princes, the governor, the captain, judges, the treasurer, the counselor, Read the on. sheriffs, and the rulers of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of him. Read on. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king had set up. That set up. They stood before, and they stood before the enemies. Read on. Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Set up. 
Then Harold cried aloud. Read on. To you it is commanded. It is commanded. O people, neighbors, labors. Read on. That at the time, at what time you hear the sound of the cornet? Read on. Lute, harp, sabbath, palm psaltery. Yes. Decimer, and all kinds of music. Read on. You fall down and worship the golden image. Worship the golden image. That Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. My God. Read on. And whosoever falleth not down and worship. Do you know something your life got to be in the line? That's it. Who's the fall at now? Down. Shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the running fire and presence? Read on. Therefore, at that time, at that time, when the people, all the people heard the sound of the pointed blue top, sackbuck, psaltery, read on, all kinds of music, read on, all the people, yes. the nation, and the nation fell down and worshiped. Everything falling down. You know that's as great it is now. Everybody, you know, so many is falling down now. But God and other people, they're going to take us down. My God, fall down and worship. Yes. Read on. The image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Read on. Wherefore? Wherefore? At that time, certain Chaldeans came so, near. You see, God going to have a people, you see. A special people. Yes. Certain Chaldeans came near. And they accused the They're going to accuse God people. Read on. And they expect, they expect and said to the king of Nebuchadnezzar, Read on. O king, live forever. Live forever. Thou king, O king. Read on. Has made a decree. You have made a decree. That every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet. Read on. Heart set by Hallelujah. Sultry and Dunsimer. Read on. And all kind of music. All kind of music. Shall fall down and worship the golden image. You know, it's sad. But when you look at the religious world, everybody falling down to the weak and vacant element. I said, read on. And whosoever not fall down, falling not down. Read on. And worship that he should be cast into the midst of the burning fire burning. My God. Read on. There are certain Jews. Certain Jews. Who thy has said over the affairs of thy promise. You put them over the affair of thy promise. Yes. Of Babylon. Read on. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Read on. These men, O king, read on. Have not regard thee. And God, they're not going to honor what you said. I said this. Year. They're not going to bow down to what you said. Amen. They don't regard what you said. Read on. They have not regard thee. No regard thee. They serve not thy God. They know they're not going to bow down to your God. We believe in the true and the living God. We believe our God is a healer. Oh, yes. We believe our God. Hallelujah. He's a God of God. He's not a God that made with men. Hallelujah. He's not a God that worship in silver and gold, but our God. He's a God. He's the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He's a God. We won't bow down. I don't want the world to know. That's why you need to come among us. I don't blame the sister. She jumped on the Greyhound bus and back on 730 she called me. I'm on my way. Where you go? I'm glad. I'm coming to the, I'm on the true worshiper. I want to be with the true worshiper. My God, I don't want to be with people who worship and don't know what they worship. They have the zeal of God, but deny the power thereof. But I want to be with a true worshiper that's not going to bow down. They won't bow down. Hallelujah. We won't bow down. We're not going to bow down. We won't bow down. Somebody, I love to hear the young people sing this song. Say, I decided I'm going to take a stand. Even though I might lose my very best friend. My God, my God. Sometimes when you take a stand, you might have to lose somebody close to you. But don't bow down. Don't bow down. Hallelujah. Don't bow down. I hate to be around people who bow down for everything. First thing, I was on my knees this morning praying. Saints calling me. Hey, I'm going through that. I said, I'm praying. Hold God. 
I'm telling God, you said many are the affliction of the righteous, but out of them all, you promise to deliver. Oh Lord, remember your people. They're waiting on you for the healing. They're going through in the body, but they won't bow down. They won't bow down. They are waiting on you, Lord. You the healer. You the deliverer. You the way maker. Come see about your people. You we won't bow down. I God, we Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read on. Read on. These men. These men. Okay, have not regard thee. They're not gonna regard. Yes. Read on. They serve not thy God. They ain't gonna serve your God. No worship the golden image. They're not gonna worship the golden image. Read on what I you set up. Set up. They never genetic. Hallelujah. Yeah. This make the bandits mad. Oh, yeah. People all around you get mad with you. Yeah. What you talk about? He ain't gonna go to I go to man. I say, well, I trust in the living God. I say, I know how to wait on God. I ain't gonna go because you get mad. I'm gonna wait on God. You know what? You know what they say? Uh, you better get me Proverbs. I'm coming back there. Proverbs, the third chapter, and verse five. Trust in the Lord. How? With all thine heart. I'm trusting God that he will see me through. Trust God, say, whatever you're going through, trust in the Lord. I don't care what rise up. Sickness in your body. Trust in the Lord. Yeah. Trouble come. Do you hear what he said? Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. He know you trust in him. He know you trust in him. My God, my God. Trust in the Lord. He know you trust in him to bring you out of that test you're going through. He know you trust in him to heal your body. He's a way maker. He knoweth them that trust in him. I know everyone that trust in him. So he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Don't lean, don't lean on your own understanding. In all thy ways. I, I, you know, I acknowledge him. I say, come see about your people. Come see about us. I say, if you don't heal us, who else going to heal us? If you don't help us, who else going to help us? We don't have no one else to look to but to you. God love when you acknowledge him. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. He shall, God will lead you right. Trust God. You that are carrying for the Holy Ghost. Keep on trusting Him. Keep on trusting Him. Don't wait on God. Uh, 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 say like Abba said, though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It got to come. Whatever you trust in God for. Wait on it saying, God is a healer. My God, my God. We are contending for the faith. Go to Psalms 118 and verse 8. Oh, David, that's why his son Solomon came along and had to acknowledge it. He saw his father trust in God. David said, cut off his head in the day of battle. He said, yea, though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. As thou saith, I believe I'm coming out. I believe the church coming out. I have no mind. Every child of God coming out. I don't care how far it gets. We coming out. I come because we are trusting God. And by we trust in God, Psalms 8, 1, 18 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord. To trust in the Lord. Way to put thy confidence in men. Think I'm gonna put my confidence in men to do this. No, sir. I will approve it. A man put confidence in men, and God will rock with us. God said, when you were in trouble and you call upon me, go on a little further. It's better to trust in the Lord. Read on. Than to put thy confidence in princes. In prayer, you better know how to put confidence in God. There was a man when he was in trouble and 
call on God and God deliver him and give him the great victory. Yes. But when his body got sick, yes. he will, uh, you better get me, I believe is in uh, is somewhere there in Second Chronicles, start at 16, running on down to the sixth verse or eighth verse, Second Chronicles uh, 16 and verse six. Or eight. In Asia, Asia. Yes. Took all Judea. Yes. And carried away the stones around. Read on. And the chimney thereof, wherewith Bashan was building the building. Read on. Therewith, Gibeah and Nithak. Yes. And at that time, yes. And I just here came to Asa king to Judea. That's it. And Read. said unto him. And said unto him. Because thou hast relied on the king of Syria. You gotta watch who you rely on. I'm on yes. That's why he says it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. Saints of God, you got to know who you got to rely on. Because, yes, thou hast relied on the king of Syria. King of Syria. And not rely on the Lord. You see, God wants us to rely on him. Whatever you're up against, you got to know how to rely on God. And not rely on the Lord. Oh, my God. I God. Therefore is the host of King of Syria escaped out of thy hand. Read on. Were not the Ethiopian? You see, the God, God will bring yeah. back to you what he delivered yes. you from. Yes. How he brought you out. The Ethiopian. And the Lubians. Read on. And you, uh, a huge host. A huge house. With a very many chariots. Read on. And horsemen. Read on. Yeah, because I did rely on the Lord. Saints, look where, what God delivered you from. Yes. That's why the saints here praising God. Yeah. You rely on God and God brought you out. Oh, yeah, why can you not rely on him again when you're going through the next test? Yes. Oh. God is a healer. Yes. God is a, a deliverer. He said, because you rely on me. Oh, the Lord, he delivered them into thy hand. Into thy hand. For the eyes of the Lord running to and fro. Ain't nobody going to get around God. The eyes of the Lord. Run to and fro the whole earth, the whole earth to show himself strong. God is a strong God. God is not a weak God. He's a strong God. He said, call on me in the day of trouble. And I will do it. God wants to show himself strong in your life. To show himself strong. In behalf of them. In the behalf of them. Who heart is perfect towards him. Perfect. And God wants us to hold it with a perfect heart. Read on. Therein dies son foolish. Foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth. My God, from henceforth. Thou shalt have one. Sometimes you can get trouble on yourself when you when you when you depart from God. It's a blessing to rely on God. Read on. Then it was war for the seer. My God, uh, the wrath of man not gonna make him would make him right. That's right. Read on. And put him in a prison. Put, house. Read on. For he was in a rage. He was people get in a rage when you don't bow down. That's what Nebuchadnezzar did. He get in a rage yes. and heat the fire seven times harder. Read on. For he was in rage. Read on. With him because of this thing. Read on. And Asa oppressed some of the people the same day. The same day. Praise God. Read on. And behold, the acts of Asa, the first and the last. Read on. Lo, we are written in the book of the kings of Judah. Read on. And Israel. My God. God is a mighty God. Read on. And Asa, in the 39th year of his life, read on. was diseased. He was diseased in his feet. In his feet. Until his disease was exceedingly great. Exceedingly great. Yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord. You see, God wants us to rely on him. He sought not to the Lord. Or to the physician. All right, Mr. Physician. You preaching it and try to convince me. You go convince me of weak sense. But all my life I've been trusting in God. Yes, yes. I'm speaking for myself now. For this and here, I've been trusting God. And God brought me out. If I did two with men, I would only have one hand. Because physician want to cut it off and I can't electrocute it. But because I rely on God, I can clap both hands. That's I'm just 
tell you what God has done for me. Yes. All right, the man. God. In the disease. Yes. And what? He saw not the Lord. He never saw. He didn't rely on God. He went, he saw to who? the physician. He went to the physician. And what? Yes, and ate and slept with his father. Yeah, and God and he knew he died. Away from yeah. here. Yeah. Don't condemn me now. I'm preaching this word. I'm, yeah. I'm trusting God for my healing. I'm trusting God for my deliverance. I don't care what it is saying. You better know how to rely on God. God see you trust in him. God see you waiting on him. You better get me Psalms 91 and verse 15. He know I'm waiting on him. He not tell him come see about me Lord. Come see about your children. Come see about your people. Now all you are only healing medicine. We're standing flat footed on your word. Psalms, Psalms 91 and 15. What is he it? shall call upon me. Do you hear what God said? He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. Hallelujah. You know he's a blessed one you can call and get an answer. He shall call upon me. I'm not afraid to call him. I said, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. And he's calling on the physician of calling on God. He shall call upon me. God, come on, Lord. Come see about us, God. Come on. Your children need you. Come on, Jesus. You tell me to call upon you. And you will answer. I will answer. I will be with you in trouble. What? Oh, God said. I will be with you. Sickness gonna come, but God said, I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna be with you. God has not is with me. I'm coming out. I'm coming out, say, as long as God is with me, I'm coming out. I don't care how bad it gets. I'm gonna be with me. He is in his 
me. So when the fountain go run, I run back to him. Then 
What a mighty God we serve. Here are these men coming forth. Yes. Read on. Read on. And the prince and the governor and captain and kings and counselors. Everybody near looking yes. at it. They got it together. When God do a work, it's well done. Yes. Yes. He do it in the eyes of everybody yes. listening. Yes. Read on. Yes. Read on. Yes. Saw these men. Saw these men. And who body the fire had no power. No power. Who was the hair of the head. Read on. Pitch. Neither was their coat. Change, no, the smell of fire upon them. It's, you couldn't even smell the scent of fire. They're upon them. Upon them. Then Nebuchadnezzar the spake and said, God will make the enemy acknowledge it. Speak and said, Blessed yes, be the God of Shadrach. Now we need God to bless God. Blessed be the God of Shadrach. Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Abednego, who has sent his angel, sent his angel, and his servant. Oh, God is a deliverer, yes. God is a deliverer. Yes. In every situation, he will deliver. Ain't no test you're going to go through that he can't deliver your family. He's a deliverer. And his servant that trusts in him. Oh, all he wants us to do is trust him. Trust him. Trust them, James. Trust them when sickness come, when trouble come. Somebody here today not yet baptized. The enemy try to make you afraid. Oh, what if? What if? You may not be able to do. You can't do it. You might go back to to what you used to do before. Let me tell you the word of God say in Philippians chapter one and six. This is my confidence. Big confidence of this very thing that he which had began a good work you see he did it now he did it if it was left up to me David said I would have fainted and less of the me he helped me to overcome that liquor backer. he helped me to overcome the nightclub I know what it is to be in the nightclub I know what it is to be in the dancer he helped me to overcome the ball game no longer no longer you can overcome. Don't let the devil lie to you that you might have to go back and pick it up again. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. God can clean you up. God can help you in confidence of this very thing that he which I began a good work in you. He will not perform it. I will take you all the way, say. God ain't going to do a half done work. He ain't going to do a half done job. All you got to do, turn it over to him. Just give over. Now, I'm looking right now. What's coming in my head there now is in the it is in First Peter. Time failing me. But First Peter chapter chapter four and verse one. This is what the man of God said. Thank God for the apostles. You know, I thank God for all the prophets of old. My God, they went through something, but they wouldn't bow down. All those apostles of old, they went through something. Some were stoned, some were sawn asunder, some received cruel mocking, but they wouldn't give it up. All right. First Peter 4 and 1. For as much then. As much then. As Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. In the flesh. Arm yourself likewise. Likewise. In the same mind. You got to have the mind of Christ. That's it. Read on. He that suffer in the flesh. He that suffer in the flesh. And cease from sin. My God, they say, I cease now. My God, what's the matter? You don't do it no more? That he no longer shall live the rest of his time. You don't do just do it one more time. Do you hear what I say? I cease. So you cease from sin. Two people fight when they cease. That means hey, no more bullet, no more fighting. It's a cease fire. My God, you can come over here and be delivered. Cease from sin. That he no longer. No longer. So the rest of his son in the flesh. Come on, let's do it. One. Do you hear what they say? No longer. No, don't do it. No longer. No longer to the rest of his son in the flesh. In the flesh. To the lust of men. I'm not here now. After the lust in a man. But to the will of God. I, I'm I want God can make you live his will. You can live to the will of God. Yes. Any man being Christ. Somebody here not yet baptized. 
in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. The devil wants you to linger and have you tarry. But I say like the angel tell that, up, haste, get out of here. Don't linger. Say, why do you linger? This ain't no lingering time now. It's time for God's people to run for the life. It's time now. It's going home time. My God, you that are out there in real alarm. You better get busy now. You better trim your lamb. You better get busy now. Get me uh, Romans, I believe, chapter 13 and verse 11. You got to know the time now. When you see all these things coming about, it's time for you to get busy now. Now, listen to what he said. But Apostle Paul said, know the time. And then, do you know the time we are living in? Well, that the time. Do you know the time? You that are out there still lingering and feel you have some more time. Let me tell you, time running out on this whole world now. Yeah. Knowing the time that now is. Now, now it is. Yes? High time. It is high time. You now. wake out and sleep. You better wake up. Come on, this You wake out and sleep. Therefore, now is our salvation near then. Do you hear what it said? It's near now. Near then. It's near? Really? Yeah, when we believe. When we believe? Well, the night is far spent. You don't have time to linger now. The night is far spent. And the day is at hand. It's right at hand now, beloved. Let us therefore cast off the Whatever of you darkness. have to get rid of, get rid of it. The blind man, when he heard of Jesus, he cast his coat off. He cast off his coat and run to Jesus. Whatever you got to get rid of, get rid of it. Cast off the way you Cast off the Put on the armor of life. Put on the armor of Let us walk honestly. Walk honestly. In the day, we call it what? My God, the drug in it. It's time. Don't go back and jump and all this weakness, foolishness. It's going home time now. Having these promises near the middle of Let us do what? Second Second Corinthians 6 and 1. Having therefore these promises near the middle of Let us cleanse us. It's clean up time now. It's clean up time now. The Lord is on his way now. We got to clean up and get ready to meet him. He's on his way. I have got cleansed ourselves of all filthiness. How much? All. Not some. But from all filthiness. Filthiness. That's in spirit. And spirit. Perfected holiness. It's time to be holy. All right, good luck. You got to out there in the middle of the night. Time running out of this whole world now. You better run up in your life. You, wherever you are, even if you're here, not yet, not times. In the name of Jesus Christ, when they heard this, they were quick in the heart, said unto Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? He said unto them, repent, and be baptized. Every one of you. For the remission of sin. Alright. For the promise unto you. It's promised to you now. To your children. It's up to you now. To reject it or accept it. But it's promised before you now. It's right at your door now. To you and to your children. To all that are far off. All that are far off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. How do you call them the word?
so good to me. He did it. You know, sometimes we can take his goodness for granted. But God is concerned. He is so concerned. We read that scripture. Read, read, and go back to Psalms again. Sometimes we just walk around like we have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like he has to do it. He put us down, and we sit in the chair. And we sit. Yeah. Not even get out the chair. Yeah. In pain, yeah. pain yeah. love taken away. Lord. The word of God said, what is it? Psalms. Psalms. I, I look at my brother Bob there. I look at him now. Brother yes. Bob said, you can stand up. Let me ask you, can stand on your own? Yeah. Look at that man in the back. He told me was I can call at 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. And she said, what's the matter? I said, what's the matter? Oh, my husband, he passed out his head and this happened. He said, Bishop, can you pray a prayer over the phone for him? I said, let me rush over here to New Jersey. He was in his hell. Help the man, Lord, up here come. You can go down so quick. Yeah. Go down and help him take him around. I mean, oh, yeah. he's not coming in the drive. The wife had to drive the truck and everything, and he did. Look at him now, what God Call upon me. He shall be good. It's good even to give him a praise. Yes. He said, You shall call upon me. And I will answer him. And I will answer him. He will be, I will be with him in trouble. I'm gonna be there in your trouble. I will deliver him. God said, I'm gonna be with you in your trouble and I'm gonna deliver you. But when I do it now, I want you something I want you to do for me. What is it? I will deliver him and honor him. And I'm going to honor him. Long life. Long life. Will I satisfy him? Satisfy him. Show him my salvation. My salvation. My God. That's a God we serve. That's Psalms 50. And 15. That's the one you just read on. Psalms 91. I want Psalms 50. Something there. I want where he wants us. He said, what did he say? And call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me? You're going to go through some trouble. Yes. But God said, I want you to call upon me yes. in the day of trouble. Yes. I will deliver thee. God said, I'm going to deliver thee. Shall, shall glorify thee. And thou shalt glorify me. I'm going to bring you out. Yes. But when, you, when I bring you out, you better talk about me. Yes. Tell somebody what I'm talking about. Tell it on the busy street. Tell it everywhere you go. Tell everybody you meet. I'm not ashamed to tell people what God has done for me. I mean, I love telling. Yeah. David said, if my tongue was a right in pen, my God, you were just telling it. You know, when God do something for you, you want to tell everybody you meet. Oh, my God, again, I get excited telling. That's it. It looks like you're happy. That's all your stuff happy. Not look like, but I. You better get the Luke. I think it's Luke 17 and verse 11. And, and there was 10, 10 lepers. He was coming out of the field. Brother Vincent, and how does you tarry? Whenever you get in the Holy Ghost, come. If you run around here 10 times, I leave all my view. When I get the Holy Ghost, I was just leaping. I, I stopped the broadcast. This is good enough to come off the mountain. I walked. I put, he put his ear. He put his ear to my mouth. I was thinking he dropped his eyes. I stopped everything. As hard as I died, I stopped everything. My God, you know when God delivered you, you want to stop everything. To pray. Come and let me tell you right. what the Lord. I tell you, Brother Jackson, he didn't sit there and look quiet, but if I might see Jackson running <laughs> around. <laughs> Quiet person, stop. Yes. My God, really, all about to say. And it came with 
Gabriel. Jerusalem. Yes. That he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, read on. Then there came ten men that were lepers. Ten men, many that were lepers. And we stood up all off. Yes. And they lifted up their voice and said, They couldn't come close. You know, in, a, in the kangaroo and Niger, Africa, we had leper. They had put them in an isolated place. They don't want them to mix with the public. So he stood afar off. Yes, and said, Jesus. Jesus. They lifted up their voice. They lifted up their voice. And said, Jesus. You know when you need help, you lift up your voice. Yes. Jesus. 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 Master, you the master, have mercy on you us. The, you the master of all the trouble. You the master of all sickness. You the master of all the trouble. Master, master. I know you can master this condition I'm going to. Master, master. Hallelujah. Can I talk to your master, say, Master, have mercy on us. I need mercy. I need mercy. I need mercy. Whatever you're going to, don't be afraid to tell him I need mercy. Because you the fall of mercy. You the God of all comfort. I need mercy. Have mercy upon Have us. Mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And when he saw them, when he saw it, he said unto them, Yes, go show yourself unto the priest. God can He's such a mighty little boy. He said, Go. Show yourself unto the you. priest. Read on. And it came to pass. It came to pass. And as they went, they were just going on. As they went, they were cleansed. They were what? Cleansed. They were cleansed. God can clean. God can deliver somebody. God can heal somebody. You know you gotta believe this gospel. As they go, they were cleansed. One of them, one of them, he saw that he was here. Yes, turned back and with a loud voice, he turned back with a loud voice. He saw what took place. He went back with a loud voice, glorified God and glorified God. He glorified God. He said, "Do what he said, and he shall glorify me." Help! So they call on him in the trouble. He delivered them. Now they come back and glory. He came back and glorified God. Yes. Read on. And fell down on his face. Fell down on his face. And his feet giving him thanks. Give the all I thank you. You know, sometimes my mind when I'm just, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, what could I do without you? You've been there for me. Through my test and trial, you've been there for me. Lord, if it had not been for you, Lord, I couldn't make it, Lord. Where would I be, Lord? But I give you thanks. He gave him thanks. You yes. can know how to get down and thank God. But right. say, no, don't get down. Do it, Lord. I know. Do it, I say. Do it, I say. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it. Do it. You got to know how to come. You go so humble. Yeah. Lord, you gotta feel after. Oh, yeah. Happy. Sometimes you gotta know. Mm. Sometimes my mind, my knees. I can't get the word out. Yeah. But with crowning, this cannot be out. Yes. Mm. Yes. Oh, Lord, the road gets heavy on me. I need your help, Lord. Need some help, Lord. This is what he said, giving him thanks. Yeah. Read on. And when he saw that, he said, Go show yourself unto the priest. Read on. And it came to pass yes. that they went, they were cleansed. Read on. And one of them, Read on. when he saw that he was here, turned he back. Turned back. With a loud voice. With a loud voice. Glorified God. Read on. And he fell down on his face at his, at his feet. Read on. Giving him thanks. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Read on. And Jesus answered and said, Listen, Jesus. Answer and said, Great mighty God. Yeah. He answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? Were there not ten of you that came to me? Yeah, and a cleanser of ten of you? Yes. But where are the nine? Where are he was still concerned. Yes. Yes. Don't get the blessing, don't get the healing, don't get the victory, and just keep going. Come on back. 
God bless Brother Marshall with the Holy Ghost.
You're going to see people lined up, coming in the building, coming from far and near. See, Sister Kendall, for the great home with our two young children. That's a lot of things. What's the matter? I want to go with a true worshiper three hours away, but I'm coming on down anyhow. My God said, you're going to see people say, come and come with me. Where are you going? We are going all up. What Isaiah saw. Now I call it, hallelujah to God. Uh-huh. Isaiah chapter. My God in the book of Isaiah chapter 2. Many people, Isaiah saw it. My God, the word of God Christ was in the pocket.
Why do you say? Isaiah 52 and verse 7. Yeah. How beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. When you come among God's people, how beautiful. When the Lord have a peace of him. Peace, peace of him. That bring a good time. It's good time in his house. We are. And publish peace. We are here publishing peace. Oh, yes. And bring a good time. Well, it's good time in his good time. That's good. why the world is crying out. That's why all over the world they're crying out. We had to call them. Because the every time we say, I don't know what I go to bed, listen to. I love what you're you not up there fighting, calling people names and uh, big and fussing. You just I said, no. That's not what he tell me to do. He said, preach the word. All I'm concerned is preach the word. It's up to you to accept it or reject it. But I don't have to, you don't have to call people names. No, 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 no. If they don't, if they don't shake the very dust off you, keep on going. You don't have to be a fussing and fighting. This is what he said. How do you fall upon the mountain? Read up. Read up. That bring good tidings. Read up. That publish peace. Publish peace. Bring good tidings of good. Read up. That publish salvation. Salvation. That's what you do. Read up. That say unto Zion, unto Zion, thy God reign, thy God reign, praise God. What? Thy watchmen should lift up their voice. You see, every God sent preacher, you won't be fighting and killing one another. You get together. Yeah. They live. I was breaking it down to somebody. I say, God said He gave some a hundred, some sixty, some thirty. I'm calling. Stay with the range what God gave you. Amen. You and a car can only go to 60. How come you're going to try to get 100 out of it? You burn it up. Just stay on to the ability. That's what caused so much trouble. People want to get up there. And if you got turned, won't you stay and you turn away? Turn away now. You can't overrun you this time. You get in trouble. I'm telling you now. I was young. God let you experience it. I used to go as a little young kid, get my little lunch money. I go to the truck and bed it and raise house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that thing was so fast. And then boom. And I said, I'm going to put a penny in that house of my lunch money. I'm out there watching him run. But they put him in a, a half a mile. Uh, 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 how much furlong grace? Four furlong. Half a mile. And he shoot and go. Then he was so fast winning the army. They put him in an eight furlong grace. That he wasn't made up to go no mile. Brother, as soon as he finished his four furlong, his distance, and the jacket tried to push him, he fell. He fell dead. He fell dead. I'm telling you, he fell dead with the jockey on top of him. Because he reaches maximum. But they took him out his range. You see, when you stay in your range, don't stay in your... If you stay in your range now, you are right. But they put that thing, he was so fast when he started, he shot ahead. As soon as he reached for a friend, he stopped slowing up. Because that was his range. But then after he started kicking and kicking to go, he just collapsed. You see, it's a blessing when you can stay according to your way. God will bless you in that. You don't have to tear nobody down or fight anybody. If God, he know what each and every one of us came from. So I thank God, saying, I'm in covenant in you. He that begin a good work in you. Just remember, he gonna perform it. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask what? I don't care what it is. He said, ask. But God is the only wise God. He ain't gonna give you something that he know gonna hurt you. I hurt you. To for you to hurt yourself, he's going to give you what you can do. Yeah. You can't get up there, be like the next person. That's called ability, not 
the ability of this tribute to every man. So you got to know when you hit that range, and that's it. If they don't try to you just carry it and step up. You won't even step at 60. You step way up to 100. That poor house, I feel sorry. I ruined my lunch money, I think. <laughs> I said, no, I don't know to myself. I don't know why they did that. Why they? I go back to school. I couldn't tell my mother. I had to get a whipping. And then I went to the shop. I said, I go, I go back to school crying. But I could get chained with four crackers and drink some water. I leave my money. I have no money. I have food around. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. Look at 12, 13 year old boy going to bed and raise hearts. Don't know nothing. And end up losing that money and went back crying. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they put him in that now. They start broadcasting on the radio. He fell dead because they put him in behind his measure. They put him behind his measure. They should keep him at four, but they put him at eight. Yes. I learned a lot from that too. Yes. So you have to stay in your range. Otherwise, you get out, you can hurt yourself. Yes. All right, God bless you. What is it? How beautiful. How beautiful. On the, mount, on the feet of him. Read on. They bring you good tidings. It's good tidings. Yes. Read on. They publish peace. Publish peace. And bring good tidings of good. This is something good here, say. Read on. That public salvation. Public. It's so good to let our blood when they said unto me. Come, let us go into the, the public salvation. It says unto Zion. Read on. Thou God reign. Thou God reign. Read on. Thou watchman should lift up thy voice. You see, we got everybody saying, watchmen got to lift up their voice. Amen. Read on. The voice together. Together. They should sing. Yes. For they should see eye to eye. Why can't we not see eye to eye? Paul says, speak the same thing. Amen. That there be no division among you. But that would be perfectly joined together. Yeah. You know, the apostle then wasn't fighting. That one of so them. Paul, Paul, after Paul got in it, Paul said, Out of foundation can no man live than that which is made. You know, if God's every child of God, we have to see eye to eye. Even if it's a difference, come up. We got to know how to iron it out. We got to know among us. We got to know how to get among us and iron it out. So please, uh, because we got to see eye to eye. Say. We all got, this is the confidence. Somebody here today not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You gotta be ready for the coming of the Lord. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. You hear what he said? You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You're not gonna make it, beloved. You got to have in his seal. The Lord knoweth them that in hell. In order for you to make it, you got to repent, you got to be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. He said, see here is water. We have a beautiful pool of water. Ask yourself the question. Ask your own self now. You don't have to ask nobody. Say, what does hell mean? Say, I want to be baptized. Come on, if there's someone here today, you try everything, everything failing. Won't you try Jesus? Jesus said, come. All you have to do is stand on your feet or raise your hand. Do you want it to love? Do you want salvation? Do you want this gospel? Stand on your feet. I got about five other people in Fort Myers crying out for the baptism. Fort Myers. You right here today. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Today, he said, the day you hear his voice, how are they not you heart? You hear today, you hear the gospel, preach. See here is 
God. Ask yourself the question, what does heaven do? Do you believe it? Stand and raise your hand. Don't let the enemy press you down. He must tell you, no, don't stand. Tell yourself, I want it. I want it. Do you want it? How many of you? It's a single song. If you only know the blessing that salvation, you'll never turn it away. The door is open wide, and he bid you to come. How many want to answer the call of God today? How many of you? How many of you? Tired of this life you live and you want a new life. God wants to give somebody a new life. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. What a blessing to be here. What is a blessing to be here? Somebody said, I'm ready baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. But the way you preach this gospel, and I've seen that, I want to be a part of this church. Stand, come forward, Bishop Green and myself will extend to you the right hand of Christ. God bless you. God keep you. Is our prayer. Let's pray one for another. God bless you.